Hey guys, it's Darwin here with my full and final gear list for what I'll be using this year on the Appalachian Trail, the Great Divide Trail, and the Colorado Trail. Alright, so after spending quite a bit of time in 2019 trying out new gear, getting things dialed down, I have my full and final pack set up, my full gear list of what I'll be using this year for my section hike of the Appalachian Trail, my through hike of the Great Divide Trail, a through hike of the Colorado Trail, and even shooting down to Peru to shoot a short film. So a pretty diverse year of adventures. And I'm basically gonna be using the exact same pack setup for all of that, but it's bound to happen that something might not work out, that I might switch something out. And in case that happens, I plan on making a video in between each hike, showing you what I'm switching out, showing you what didn't work and what worked um, and also keep in mind that because I am shooting a lot of video, I do have more camera equipment than most through hikers are going to have on these trails. And because of that, for this video, I did two base weights, one base weight of what I'll be carrying and another base weight without that extra camera equipment. So let's open the pack up. I'll spread everything out. We'll talk about the gear individually. And then at the end, I'll give you my base weights. All right, so first off, I have my pack that I'll be carrying all of this year on all of my hikes, which is the Waymark Evolve. So the Evolve is a 35 liter frameless pack with a one inch removable hip belt. And on the front, on my shoulder straps, I do have a little clip made by Peak Designs that I actually clip my camera to. So most of the times that will be up there, uh, easily accessible and ready for me to take a shot. Moving on up, because I am starting with a pretty wet trail this year with the AT, and then I'm probably gonna get some rain on the Great Divide Trail, is a pack liner. And this pack liner is made out of a material called Nilofume. Really great, nice and big, has plenty of room for everything in my pack, plus a little bit more. Cruising on over is my tent of choice for this year, which is the Z-Pax Altiplex. Uh, it's a DCF tent. It takes one trekking pole. I'm pretty jacked about this tent. Z-Pax used to make it. And recently, I actually helped to bring it back. And with the tent, I have 10 of the Easton Nano Aluminum Stakes. Uh, these are the six inch stakes. And so far, these have basically been the best stakes I've ever used on the trail. Super dependable. Cruising on down is the return of the ass pad, ladies and gentlemen. So for about a year, I kind of stopped carrying an ass pad, but now I am carrying a kind of a cheap version of the one that I used to carry. So the ass pad is back. Cruising on over is the start of my sleep system. So first up is my Sea to Summit Eros Pillow. That is a new one because my old one actually blew a baffle, so I did get it replaced. And then I have a set of Enlightened Equipment Sidekick Booties. Now those are synthetic insulation, and basically for me, I always carry booties to make sure that I can keep my feet warm on those really cold nights. Next up in my sleep system is something that I have used for basically my entire hiking career, and that is a Thermarest Neo Air x Lite. Moving up top is the quilt that I've been using for the past two years. That is the Enlightened Equipment Enigma 20. That is 10D on the inner, 20D on the outer, and a 950 fill. And that is inside of a Z-Pax DCF stuff sack. Next up is my water filtration. So the water filter that I'll be using this year is the Catadyne Be Free, and that is with the one liter bladder. And then next to that is just a cheap disposable one liter water bottle with a flip cap, uh, the flip sports cap. Next up is my cook system. Yes, that's right, I am cooking again on trail. So my cook system of choice is the Snow Peak 700 titanium mug, the one I've had for years. I'm using the BRS ultralight stove. I have a small light load towel to be able to clean out my pot. 
uh, whenever it's dirty, a Bic Mini lighter, and then a long handle C to Summit Alpha aluminum spoon. And then this year I'll be keeping all of my food in my Hilltop Packs DCF custom printed outdoor evolution food bag. And then sitting right on top of that is a small z packs dcf rock bag and 50 feet of line next up we have the start of my electronics so i have some random cables a couple of little adapters for the end to make sure i can charge everything a sd card transfer um, to make sure i can transfer my footage onto my phone next up i have a rav power 18 watt quick wall charger and this year I kind of upped my power and I am carrying an anchor 20,000 milliamp PD charger up top from that is my favorite headlamp which is the Yuko Air 150 rechargeable headlamp then I have a Rology cork massage ball I use that to basically roll out my muscles at the end of the day a small Swiss army knife that has the scissors and a knife and a toothpick and basically everything that I need on the trail, a small thing of sunscreen and a small thing of chapstick. Next up is my first aid hygiene and repair kit. So everything is kind of in this one bag, about everything that I need to either take care of myself or take care of some gear on the trail is all in this bag. Next to that, I have a thing of toilet paper, or as I like to call them, shit tickets, and my deuce of spades trowel to make sure I'm practicing good leave no trace. And basically all of that will fit inside of my Hilltop Pack custom made ditty bag. Uh, that is a DCF ditty bag with the Outdoor Evolution logo on it. Moving on over, we have my wallet, which is made by a company called Rome. So I keep all of my cards and all of my cash in that. I have my iPhone 11 Pro that I can use for navigation, editing all of my videos, photos, and a set of Apple AirPods because I am an avid podcast and music listener on the trail. Next up is the start of my camera equipment. So first off, I'm actually carrying a GoPro this year. Again, I'm gonna be doing some wet trails, so I wanna make sure that I can film in case I have a big downpour. I have my Rode Video Micro with the shock mount, a Rode Lavalier mic, um, because I do actually plan on doing some interviews and doing some voiceovers on the trail, two extra Canon batteries, for my camera uh, just as a backup so I don't run out of power when I'm trying to get a shot. And then my tripod of choice on the trail, which is the Ultrapod 2, and that does have the Arca Swiss clamp on the top. And then the camera that I'll be carrying on trail this year is the Canon EOS R, which is a full frame mirrorless camera. And on the camera, I'm rocking a 24 millimeter Canon lens with a drop-in variable ND adapter. Because I'll be shooting a lot of extra footage, I'm carrying two extra SD cards. And then this little guy here is a clear drop-in filter for my adapter on my camera in case I wanna do some shooting at night or in low light. And then basically all of my camera equipment, everything that I wanna quick access, and my phone and my wallet, all goes in my Waymark zip fanny pack all right so starting off with my clothes again because it's going to be a wet trail i'm actually using rain pants this year yep first time i've ever done long distance hiking in rain pants so those are the z packs virtus rain pants along with that i have my z packs virtus rain jacket Really love that jacket. It's probably been the most dependable I've ever owned. A set of Mountain Hardware liner gloves. Um, I don't usually carry a big bulky glove. That does me just fine on the trail. A set of Patagonia Capiline lightweight tights to basically put under my shorts and add some warmth. I have an Appalachian Gear Company Alpaca Beanie which is super warm, super light, 
above that beanie. And I'm carrying an extra pair of darn tough, low cut merino wool socks. And then basically the last thing that I'll carry in my pack that I won't be wearing all the time is my Enlightened Equipment Torrid Apex jacket. That's a synthetic jacket and it does have the hood. And I almost forgot, I usually carry a bug head net in case I get into some buggy parts of a trail and then a pair of prescription sunglasses with uh, the little soft case. All right, so that basically takes care of everything that's on my back. Now let's talk about what I'll be wearing while I'm hiking. First up is my new favorite hiking shirt of choice, which is the Arcteryx Skyline Long Sleeve. It has snap buttons, and I love snap buttons. A pair of my favorite shorts to hike in, which are the Nike Challenger 5-inch shorts with pockets and a liner. So people always ask me where my underwear are. I don't wear underwear on the trail because I do wear shorts with a liner. Something that's kind of new to my kit this year and something I've been basically living out of and I'll be wearing every single day on the trail, which is an Appalachian Gear Company alpaca hoodie. Uh, I sleep in it, I wear it while I'm hiking. I love this thing. Next up is my mesh back hat that has the Outdoor Evolution logo on there. Uh, I actually hope to have some more of those coming really soon for everybody that's been asking. My tried and trusty old buff. Uh, this is a UV buff, so it's also really good to kind of put around my hat for sun protection. I have a set of darn tough low cut merino wool socks. Those are the light cushion version. One on my feet, one on my pack. And my new favorite shoe of choice, which is the Ultra Temp 1.5. Uh, and inside there, I do have a set of custom made insoles. And then the last thing that I will be basically carrying, especially on the AT every day, is my Knock Carbon Cork Trekking Pole. Uh, now this is the prototype of the new one that's coming out. And then I also do have some duct tape to wrap around it, uh, just in case I need to make a repair when I'm out on trail. All right, guys, so that's it. That's everything that I'll be carrying starting at Springer Mountain on the AT and taking all the way to Durango, Colorado at the end of the Colorado Trail. Um, I'm pretty overall happy with this pack setup. I tried really hard to kind of get my base weight down to a nice small pack setup, but still afford myself all of those extra luxury items like the extra camera equipment. So my overall base weight with the camera equipment, with the fanny pack full of electronics, but without my trekking pole, the clothes that are on my back, food, fuel, and water, my overall base weight comes in at 13 pounds, three ounces, which is pretty incredible, pretty light if you consider all of the extra luxury items that I'm bringing along on my hikes. I'm pretty happy with that. 13 pounds, three ounces, I'll take it. Now, for anybody out there that would never carry that bigger camera that doesn't care about all the extra electronics. The base weight, if you take that stuff away, comes in at nine pounds, 10 ounces. So again, if you consider the type of luxury pack setup that I have, everything that's in here, the bigger tent, um, the pillow, the ass pad, nine pounds, 10 ounces is still pretty incredibly light for what I have in here. Now, just like all of my hikes, I do plan on putting out a video series, a vlog of the AT, the GDT, the CT, and I might even be doing some sort of a travel vlog down in Peru. So hopefully you guys will check those out once they drop here on YouTube. If you're watching this right now, I'm probably somewhere in North Carolina on the AT, and my first AT video will be coming out really soon. If you found any value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.